Hi fans of high quality entertainment. Now, this video is on cleaning a vinyl record. And I'm not really a collector of vinyl. Uh, it's mainly CDs. But I thought this would be an interesting video for you that do collect vinyl and you like to, or you want to clean the uh, records that you have. I have found the best way to clean records. So just follow what I'm doing and you'll, you'll see the difference in a minute. But before I get to the, uh, the vinyl record that's kind of dirty, this one <laughs> I found, uh, it's a store called Value Village, you know, used stuff and they have used vinyl there. And it cost me $2.99 and I'm just curious for any Beach Boys fans out there, if you've ever seen this, I have never seen this before. I guess it came out, I think, in yeah, 1983. And <laughs> the very, yeah, for collectors only, historic early recordings. So side one, just get this, side one, surfing, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. Surf and Safari, 1 minute 59 seconds. Is it Lua? 1 minute 44 seconds. And Judy, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. That's it for side one. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, about eight minutes <laughs> for, for one side of vinyl. Side two is even shorter. Surfer Girl, 2 minutes and 22 seconds. Barbie, 2 minutes and 15 seconds. What is a young girl made of? A minute and 58 seconds. And Beach Boys Stomp, a minute and 26 seconds. So that's two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, not even under eight minutes. <laughs> it came in this plastic sleeve. It's on the VAA label. Oh, WAA -W Records. So this is in Quebec. And guess what? It is in mint condition, seriously. <laughs> but it just was well, a little a little dirty, but I can't believe somebody would actually sell an album with about less than 10 minutes of music on each side. <laughs> Isn't that something else? If anybody wants to buy this off me, just give me a, a holler. I didn't buy it so to sell it. I just bought it to show you because I'm so thoughtful. I bought it for $2.99. So the other uh, vinyl record I bought is ABBA. ABBA's Greatest Hits. Glenn Kellaway from The Basement, he's probably one of their biggest fans. Go over to his channel. He has a ranking of all of the ABBA albums. It's quite interesting. No, but, you know, I'm making fun of them. But seriously, I like their music. I've never had any ABBA CDs or albums. But please remember, I totally respect them. And the vinyl is in a paper sleeve. And this, once again, cost me $2.99. That's why I have a membership and Patreon, you know, because I actually do, seriously, I do put money into this channel. There's, there's been times I bought things just for the channel. <laughs> paper sleeve. I don't even have to hold it carefully because it's it's in bad shape. I don't know if you can see that. It's pretty dirty. Well, look at this, the big scratch there, but don't worry. Like I said, this is going to be part of cleaning it. That scratch will, will be gone the way I've... Uh, 
Yeah, so it's not very clean. So let's go and clean it now, and uh, hopefully, you know, I help somebody out there. So here we go. First thing I do is I use hot water. Not boiling hot, just very hot water. Okay, there's there. And you're not going to believe this, but it actually works. Comet with bleach. And uh, even says right here, scratch free. Okay, you're not going to scratch your records. And I use this, you know, just your typical uh, uh, scrubber for the kitchen. For when the wife or girlfriend does the dishes. So, what I do is like that. flip it over oh yeah that was that record was in pretty bad shape okay so there it is doesn't have to be you know because you're going to be moving it all over here we go oh wet this Yeah, I make sure the, the scrubber is very hot. There we go. And in a circular motion, just like a, playing a vinyl record. <laughs> like that. Now, be, yeah, I actually went over the label. Don't go over the label. That's one thing I should have uh, not done. The label was not dirty. And now it's, I wrecked the label. Yeah, don't wet the label. I'll have the instructions in the, my pin comment if I remember. There, like that. And, you know, there's people, oh no, you're an idiot, you know, like, no, I'm not. Watch. Now, dry it off very carefully. You are going to be totally amazed when you see this, except for the label. Dirty there. I had ever do a nice job. Look at that. Look. Let's go back over here where I was. Look at that. Look how. Look how. Well. I, I needed to maybe rinse it off a bit more, but it definitely does look better than it did. And uh, you'll see, you'll see, look, the one side here, remember that big scratch? Right? Do you see it? Well, no, because it was on the other side. So let me flip this around. There, the scratch is gone thanks to using the comet scrubber and just scrubbing the hell out of it. I think what it does, it, it binds where the scratch was with the bleach and connects it to the rest of the vinyl and then it clears up so there's no scratch with, without getting too technical. 
But there it is. I did wreck the label a bit. Don't, don't, don't wet the label. And uh, that is it. So thank you for watching. Have a great day. Look at that. Look at the shine on it. Good luck with your, your vinyl record collection and using common. Remember to scrub vi vigorously. Bye.